Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jeff Gibbard. Uh, I know it's a little bit early for some of you. It's definitely early for me. Um, I want to talk to you real quick this morning about why I use Contactually as my CRM. Uh, I'm actually using this video right now for a blog post that I'm putting together uh, talking about why we use it. Uh, you'll be able to find it on truevoicemedia.com slash blog uh, and we'll have that up there uh, probably in about... Mm, I'd say probably around 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'm just about done, but I'm going to put this video in there so I can talk to you a little bit about why I use it. Um, so one of the reasons that I like to use Contactually is that I think that it's um, a really straightforward and easy to use CRM with um, terminology that everyone can understand. One of the problems that I've had with Salesforce is the, uh, the way that they define lead, the way that they define opportunity, and all of the other, and contacts and accounts, it's just, it takes a little bit to get your head wrapped around it. And for a lot of small and medium sized businesses, I think that it's kind of a hurdle. Whereas when you walk into Contactually, I think it's very easy to understand how they all fit together. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about how it fits together for me. So when you come into Contactually, the first thing you see is you have, at the top heading, you have dashboard, contacts, buckets, insights, programs, and pipelines. And I wanna talk about how they all fit together a little bit. So contacts are where, as you'd imagine, you store all of your contacts. These are uh, anybody that's in your address book. Um, I use Google Apps for True Voice Media, and all of our contacts are immediately synced into our Contactually. Uh, additionally, when I meet someone at an event, if I get a business card or something, I immediately scan it with Evernote, uh, which adds it to my address book in my phone, and then I upload it uh, to Contactually. All of those contact details immediately go into Contactually. Uh, one of the nice things also is that because Contactually is linked with my Google Apps, anytime I send an email, it automatically gets pulled in and attached to that contact in my Contactually. Um, so the, the next thing is that these contacts, once you have them, you want to organize them into what Contactually calls as buckets. So buckets are really just consider them lists, playlists or groups, however you want to think of them, but they're buckets. So I put people into different buckets and, and one of the ones that I have is called nice to meet you. So when I go to an event, I take a contact, I scan their business card immediately, I, uh, I add a little note in there about uh, what I would like to remember about them, maybe you know their cat's name or uh, how many brothers and sisters they have or any sort of details that just help me remember who they are, or maybe what they're interested, what we talked about. And I, I add that into Contactually and then I get to add them to any buckets that make sense and I'll explain the importance of buckets in a second. The buckets are essentially ways to um, organize your contacts and track how recently and how frequently you should be keeping in touch with them. So my nice to meet you bucket has a reminder period of three days. So within three days, Contactually is reminding me each of those days that I should be following up and connecting with this person. But I'm gonna, it actually sets off a program which I'm gonna tell you about in a minute. So when I meet someone at an event, I put them into the nice to meet you bucket. What happens next is that I've set up a program and a program in Contactually is simply a set of automated steps. So it could be that as soon as I meet them, I automatically follow them on Twitter and then I automatically send them an email uh, or have an email preemptively um, uh, set up for me to send that I can customize. It says, hey, it was really nice to meet you at the event. Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself so that we can connect and uh, I can try and find some people to refer you to, whatever works for your business. So what I did was uh, I have this bucket for nice to meet you. I also have uh, buckets for people that, um, I have a nice to meet you workshops bucket. So these are people that I've spoken to that might be interested in workshops more than they're interested in consulting services. Um, I have a bucket for clients and the bucket for clients shows me that every week I should be touching every single one of my clients. I have one for active prospects. Again, this is gonna be a week long reminder period so I can stay in touch with them. And what's nice is that when you look at your buckets in Contactually, it's gonna show you the health of each of these buckets, meaning how frequently are you keeping up with these contacts within the window of time that you wanna keep in touch with them. So you might have long-term prospects. They're gonna be 45 days, 60 days, 90 days. You wanna make sure you touch them just every 60 days, every 45 days or whatever works. And then you've got people that you wanna make sure to probably touch every day. You could create a team bucket, for instance, where the reminder period is one day. So you wanna actually touch these uh, members of your team every day, so to speak. Sorry, I didn't mean that to sound dirty. Um, so, uh, so you've got contacts, you've got buckets, and then you've also got programs. And the way programs work, as I said, is that it sets off a series of steps. 
And this is a way to do sort of a marketing automation or sales automation process. So for instance, I know uh, I've got, uh, for instance, a program for podcast guests. And when I want someone on my podcasts, if you go, if I go you right, Bucket, is it, uh, it's not a to-do list. It's actually more of a list of contacts. They do have tasks that you can assign to each contact. Um, but the, uh, the tasks is a separate thing that's, that's connected to each contact. The buckets are actually, um, they're, they're lists of contacts. So you group contacts by what they're all about. So the programs, the way the programs work is, um, you know, for instance, with my podcast guests, the first thing I'm going to do with a podcast guest is send them a, hey, I'd love to have you on my podcast. Then I might remind myself three days later to follow up with them and say, hey, you should uh, be on my podcast. I don't know if you got my previous email. Then if they email me back, my next email would be, and they say, yeah, I'd like to be on it. The next email should go out, should say, hey, here's what you should know about the podcast. Here's the format. Here's the information I'm going to need from you, all that sort of good stuff. And then after uh, the podcast has gone live, I might send them a, hey, here's where the podcast is going to be. You'll be able to find your episode. Thanks so much for being on. I'd love to stay in touch. Maybe you can come on again. So it's a set of automated steps, and you can create email templates within Contactually for some of these emails that you frequently send. So for instance, many of my prospects that I meet, uh, the prospects will uh, ask for similar things. Can you give me some information on your social strategy uh, packages, or can you tell me a little bit about your workshops? And I'll have those emails kind of pre-filled out with maybe some um, referrals and recommendations. I might have a list of links that they might want to look at, some articles we've written, and we've already put those emails together so that each time that I have to send that, I don't have to reinvent the wheel and rewrite that email every time. So the way that Contactually has helped me is that in terms of keeping up with my contacts, I can see immediately in the buckets which contacts I need to follow up with because I haven't touched them uh, frequently enough. And that shows right up in my dashboard. At the beginning of the day, I can look right in there and see, here are the people I need to talk to today to make sure that I'm maintaining my relationships. And then when I meet new people, I'm able to put them directly into the um, program that makes the most sense to stay in touch with them in a way that's most relevant. So if they're interested in work, I can put them right into that. And if they're interested in just keeping in touch or I think I might be able to help them, I can put them into the right uh, sort of bucket. Uh, the final thing is pipelines. And what pipelines allows me to do is actually visualize where leads are in my pipeline. I can see I'm at an initial meeting and I can set these steps up. I can customize them myself and so can you obviously, where you can set up, I'm gonna go through these various steps First, I'm going to have a 15-minute phone call, then we're going to have a meeting, then we're going to send a proposal, then we're going to get to the uh, agreement phase, and then we're going to, um, I'll get to that question in one second, what outcome you get from what kind of better organization, why is it better? Um, and then I can see where they are, and each of those steps in the pipeline actually can be set to trigger a program. So if I get them to the initial meeting, I can set up a program that has several different emails. So it saves me a lot of time. So why is it better? I think it's better because it's simple. It's simple and I can immediately visualize why uh, or what contacts I need to be in touch with and I can set up programs to automate steps that I would normally be taking anyway. So the reason I use Contactly is it saves me a ton of time each week. It helps me maintain better relationships with um, with my customers, with my prospects, with my partners. It allows me to make sure that I'm staying up to date and not letting my relationships fall by the wayside. And it also lets me see my pipeline at a glance and lets me know what I need to be doing next. So that's why I use Contactually. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this quick little broadcast. If you have any further questions, you can always tweet me at Jay Gibbard, J-G-I-B-B-A-R-D. I'm also, like I said, going to be uh, publishing a post right uh, in the next, uh, next hour. You can find it around 8 o'clock Eastern Standard on truevoicemedia.com slash blog. Uh, it'll be a post called Finally a CRM Worth Spending Money On or Finally a CRM Worth Buying. I'm not sure which I titled it, um, but please check it out. And if you're interested, you'll see a link there where you can sign up for a 30-day trial. Give it a shot. Uh, for us, it's been incredibly valuable, uh, and I hope it is for you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Take care.